Okay, I wasn't going to even make a video this week because I have a cold, but if I can work with a cold, I can make a video with a cold. My idea process is everyone's talking about infested liches. I'm going to make an infested listed video. Problem is, they haven't come out yet. Solution is, I'm just going to make videos on all the infested weapons and see how good they are right now to maybe figure out what their potential can be. And today's video is on the HEMA, which is a gun. It's definitely a gun. Now, the Hema has a few problems. First of all, this has 47 base damage. You know, no IPS, just Viral. Viral's good, but no IPS and 47 base damage? Okay. Few things. This thing came out seven years ago. And seven years ago, 47 base damage was fine. Holy, these stats are just... 8 fire rate? Good. 11 crit chance? Bad. Crit multiplier? 2. Mid. Status? 25. How do you make a weapon with 47 base damage, bad crit stats, and okay status chance. And if you think that that's the only bad thing about this, the spread on this thing is horrible. Like, look at that. You put multi-shot on this thing, it gets worse. <laughs> how do you aim that? And it's a projectile, but whatever, projectiles are whatever. So now, how do you build this thing? Well, there's two ways. The first, the better way, in my opinion, which is you want corrosive hunter munitions. So corrosive, the main point of corrosive here is to just feed aptitude and to kill the little stuff. That's the whole point. It's why I don't have it full weighted. It's only a little bit, 35, okay? And then Hunter Munitions with Viral is what's actually gonna kill. And Prime Shred is really important. You need some kind of punch through with this thing and I'll show you why in a second. So starting off, I'm just gonna do normal shots and no buffs. Insane damage, fellas. Now, because this is the Hema and the crit chance is horrible, you can't really mod for the crit chance, I am using Avenger to actually get damage because it's the only way of actually getting good crit chance on this thing. And you know what? When you start getting stacks and you get that Avenger, it's pretty good. It can do damage. It's all right. See? It's one burst. It does okay damage if you get a slash proc. But you know, I've seen worse and it is a seven year old weapon. Now, the reason why we need punch through, well, first of all, it's because it's a single target weapon. You need punch through so you can actually do damage to multiple guys like this. The big thing is, if you have Zadas, then when you shoot, you get this circle, like that, of just projectiles, and those will actually do damage to nearby enemies, like that, see? Uh, mag players will probably like this. I don't play mag that much, but yeah, it can do that, and then it can slot, it can proc slash, and then it does damage to other guys. That's why punch through is really important, because it actually makes the projectile weapon projectile based. That just helps with KPM a lot. So if you don't have punch through, you're not going to be doing as much KPM. Also, I don't think players understand how important two meters of punch through is. It makes it so you can pretty much just shoot through anything that's not like a very big wall. Like this thing, I can't shoot through here. Never mind, I can shoot through here. But I can't shoot through here. Never mind, I can shoot through here. That's what I'm saying. Two meters is a lot, dude. Like, look at this. You can't shoot through this wall. This wall's too thick. But if I come over here... So this thing has no ammo pool, which is great. Uh, unfortunately, I can't really fit the reload speed on this, even though I want to. Because the reload speed is whatever, but it does take a while. It does hurt the KPM. If I wanted to, I would love to have a, a little bit of plus reload. Like, that's not bad. That being said, I am only using Zadas here and Rage and Avenger. Those are the only things I'm using here. So if you want to use this on any other frame, you can do that because all I'm using is Zadas here. Oh yeah, I also forgot to mention this thing gives you health on headshot kills, which is okay, I guess. And if you really care about the passive, whenever you reload, you just get a little boo-boo and you lose HP. If you don't want to use punch through for some reason, you can just go for a hybrid heat like this. So now you have four damage types, which is slash, heat, corrosive, but you do lose the punch through and the fire rate, which means a lot. So now, obviously I have more damage, so I can pretty much one shot these guys when I have buffs. Without the punch through, you just lose so much of what this thing can do. I mean, congratulations. Yeah, you can one shot now. You just like half your KPM pretty much. Let's go to Mott and uh, see how this does. Yeah, I do wish I had some kind of reload. Like, this build would probably go really well with Volt or something like that. And you see how they're, like, getting chained? Because when you hit an enemy with Zadas, what's gonna happen is the bullets are gonna ricochet to other enemies, and it's gonna kill a lot faster. Dude, this is why Punch Through is, like... People sleep on Punch Through, but it's actually one of the best stats right now. Yeah, I'm not expecting this thing to do great against Acolytes, to be honest. I mean, it's doing... Oh, I got mag bubbled. God, I love Mania. I mean, it's doing alright. 
Could be worse, to be honest. Like, every time I look at this, I just, in the back of my mind, there's just like, 40 base damage, 40 base damage, over and over. Just 40 base damage. You know, that wasn't even too bad. You know, 130 KPM for a weapon that's 7 years old and has 40 base damage? Not even too bad. I'm sure there's some heat main jars out there. Honestly, just getting innate heat, if I can pick like a heat mod, like not a heat mod, if I can get plus heat on this and this thing becomes innate heat and viral, like this could actually be pretty good. But again, that 40 base damage is ugh. So gross. Oh, it's Torment. Okay, it's fine. Torment's probably the easiest one, to be honest. Because he just stands still. Alright, good night. Also, thanks to Zadas, you don't really need to aim if you want. You can just go like this. And it'll still be fine. Oh, not you. Not you. Honestly, if there's one thing that I really want buffed, it's not even the base damage, it's not even the crit chance or the status. Just give this thing better reload, because I think it's like, what, two, two and a half second reload or something like that? Or like, 2.1, something like that? Those are the stats people generally don't care about. Now, this layout isn't very good. I'm not going to blame the KPM on that, to be honest. I'm using a Hema right now. What am I expecting? Oh no, I can feel that it's starting to fall off already. You stop right there. Alright. Okay, it may not look like it, but I can I can feel that it's starting to fall off a little bit. But you know what? It's it's still respectable. For a gun that's seven years old, and I think the last buff this got was six years ago or something like that. I would say that's pretty respectable. There's not many guns that are almost a decade old that can do this. I'm actually kind of curious what do people think of this thing? Because I know it's a I know people like the Hema, because you know it's the Hema, it's like the classic infested gun, I think. When I think infested gun in this game, I think two things. First, the Hema and second the pox. I don't really think of anything else to be honest. Maybe the dual icor, because of the incarnate right now is really popular. Maybe. There's gonna be a dev stream in a few days. Unless I'm really lazy and I'm gonna post this after the dev stream. And you know, there might be infested liches and infested incarnates and stuff like that on that live stream. We'll see. Are you kidding me? Bro, why is there an ISO update? I don't want mobile hosts in my games, dude. Okay, at least it's angst. It's pretty easy. Alright, just stand right there. You're perfect. Thank you. I swear to god, if there's not a button that I can toggle to not play with, with mobile players, I'm just not gonna play with console players. I'll just have crossplay off, I don't care. I actually just refuse to play with a mobile player, or at least a mobile host. With green shards, you'd probably want to max the corrosive on the build instead of just going partial corrosive. Alright, I said KPM was going to be 7k. Eh, that's about what I said. In the one hour mark. Give me 7.3k. That's not too bad. Alright, time to go. In general, not bad. It's just a really old weapon. Really bad base damage. Mediocre status. Bad crit chance. Mediocre crit damage. But it does have potential to be way better. Yeah, thanks for watching. See ya.